Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. I was recently asked how to create a lower third for a video that would pop on the screen. Now these lower thirds are very common in videos that you see on TV and on documentaries and they're pretty easy to create. In case you don't know what a lower third is, I'm going to show you. Now if you just watch this area of the screen right here, I'll play the video and it'll pop up the lower third. So there's this person on the screen and there's the lower third graphic right there. It shows on the screen and then it goes off. Creating those types of graphics is easy and making them show in Sony Vegas Movie Studio is also very easy to do. Let me show you what I mean. Now when I create these types of graphics, what I do is I'll open Photoshop Elements, but you can use any type of image editing program. And I start by going to File, New, Blank File, and then for the blank file size, I use a custom template. I select Film and Video, and in Film and Video, I'll typically go down to the HDV format and choose the HDV format that is the same as my video. So if my video is 720p, I'll choose that. And that'll give me an image that's going to be 1280 wide and 720. Now for the background contents, I'm going to choose Transparent. I'm going to click OK. Now this checkerboard here tells me that I have a transparent background. And then what I'll do is I'll generally import a graphic from another source. In this case, I went to Digital Juice where I purchased a package of lower third graphics and I have this image right here and then I'll create a text image and then overlay it onto the lower third. Once I've done that I'll save that and I'll save it as PNG format which preserves the transparency. Once that's saved I'll import it into Sony Vegas Movie Studio using project and import and it'll show up in my project media. And then once it shows up what I'll do is I'll drag it up on the screen wherever I want it to be and I'll extend the length for the period of time I want it to appear. And if I just click the play now, it'll just pop on the screen and then pop off. Now typically what you'll want to do is instead of having just pop on the screen like this, you'll want to do some type of transition. Now the easiest transition to do is a fade and to do that you move your mouse to the upper left hand corner of the image and drag it over. So I'm going to do a 10 frame fade there. Let's see what that looks like. You see it comes on the screen slowly and then pops off. And in case you don't know, you can extend the length of the time these things are on the screen just by dragging it like that. So again, let's look at that 10 frame fade. And there it is. And then it's gone. Now you can also fade off the screen by dragging the right over like this. There's a 10 frame on and 10 frame off. And if we watch that, you'll see again, it shows up on the screen and then it fades out. In most cases, that's all you really need to do. But in some cases, you want to add other transitions to it. So you can click your transitions bar here, and then through this entire list of transitions, any of these can be applied to a graphic. And the one we're going to apply is a slide. And the slide that we're going to apply is going to be the slide in bottom up. And we just drag that over like this, put it right on top of our transition. And we can choose the angle and the direction and all the other things here. I'm just going to go by the default. And we'll click play and you'll see what that looks like. And you saw it went in very fast. We can slow it down just by pulling the length of the transition like this. And that'll bring it really slow. Let's see what that looks like. Comes right up on the screen. Easy to do. Now in some cases, if, depending on your computer, you may want to change your preview settings from, I've got mine it's set at best full to uh, best auto or good auto so that you can see the actual speed of the transition. The resolution won't be as good, but it'll give you a better real-time look at the transitions. So there we go there. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in doing this. It's real easy to do. All you have to do is create the graphic, import it, and put it on a video track above the video track that has your main video. And stretch the graphic to get the time length that you want of the graphic. Add a transition to it if you want, or just stick with the fade-in transition, which is usually the cleanest and nicest to do. Thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.